Welcome back, my friends. Certainly not our best and brightest on our Friday. As I said earlier in the broadcast, the atmosphere virtually saturated out there. Drizzly conditions, foggy conditions out there. 41 degrees is where we are right now, keeping our winds out of the north about three miles per hour. And that will serve to cool our temperatures down significantly over the past or the next couple of days, I should say. Nearing 50 degrees for us today. 30, 60 average with 38 degrees starting us out this morning and picking up just about six one hundredths of an inch in the rain gauges for us today. Our temperatures hovering around 40 degrees there in Columbus Grove, 40 actually in Fort Jennings, 38 over in Paulding, 38 also in Lipstick and Macomb with 41 in Finley, 41 over in Arlington, 45 south and 75 in Wapakoneta, leaving 39 in Rockford and 43 this hour in Coldwater. All right, my friends, here's a big picture on satellite and radar. The warm front that lifted north across the area earlier today just basically stalled and that's what kept all the foggy and drizzly conditions. You can see rain showers down to the south in Kentucky, portions of Tennessee, even back over towards Missouri. Lots of rain showers, heavy rain at that. You can see some of those darker greens and even yellows. Mostly cloudy skies over us right now. A little bit of light precipitation moving off to the east here in Logan County. Hardin County picking up a little bit of light precipitation for the month of December. Take a look. Here's where we've been there. A very dry month intact. Look, we just got just about under a quarter of an inch of rain showers in the area for the month of December. But bear in mind, that's going to be changing over the next couple days, and you're going to figure out why. Our temperatures and conditions as we step forward here on our Friday night. Temperatures falling off tonight. Mostly cloudy skies. A little bit of visibility concern still out there in the early morning hours. You'll see around 5 a.m., 6 a.m. in the morning time, we're starting to get that little bit of a changeover. I think much of that atmosphere will stay off to the south until we get to maybe about the 9, 10 a.m. hour. Then more light rain showers, excuse me, snow showers move back in. Temperatures hovering around the freezing mark, drying out into the evening and overnight hours, but also firing back those very cold temperatures, upper 20s there by Sunday, 8, 9 a.m., and then more snow. Now, this is the snowfall that I'm predicting will be giving be giving us some heavier downbursts of snow with accumulation of about one to three inches locally. And here it plays out here over the next 24 to 48 hours. I think confidently we should stand to get about two inches or so here in a, a Lima area. West Central Ohio in general picking up anywhere from one to three inches. So there you go. If you have plans or hopes of a white Christmas, that may come true. Tonight, 33 degrees, cloudy skies out there, northwest winds at 5 in your Saturday day planner, depicting that our temperatures will stay rather conservative for us tomorrow, mid to lower 30s across the area under very much cloudy skies. And your full storm authority 7-day forecast will keep temperatures past Christmas in the low 20s, very much cold out there with single digits for overnight lows Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and maybe even Thursday. Burr. All right. I know. That is the, <laughs> that's gracious. the name of the game there. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. You're welcome. We're up and 22 were down. And we do have some big news to share with you this evening. Yeah, I'm, this is actually my last show at the 6 o'clock at the desk tonight. I'm going to be leaving Lima, headed down to the south. And many of you know I'm originally from the south, so I'm going back to the south, to the great state of Texas, um, joining the ABC affiliate in Austin, Texas on their weather team. So I'm sure everybody here is holding their breath because I already cried enough over the past <laughs> couple of weeks. So I'm all dried out. But for you at home, just know that you guys meant the world to me, and I've truly, truly enjoyed being in your homes every evening. So thank you so much. And we all wish you the best, Jason. Thank you so much. Wish you the best. We're going to miss you. Thank yes. you. So Good luck much. down there. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Jason. Will that wrap? And welcome back, everyone. Hopefully, you've been enjoying this very damp and very dreary Friday evening across West Central Ohio. Lots of rain showers down to the south. That warm front that we talked about earlier this evening has really just stationized itself over West Central Ohio and also the Buckeye State. This area of low is really not going to be moving out of the area until the early hours for us tomorrow morning. Mostly cloudy skies for us tonight. You're going to start to see a little bit of precipitation as we near the early morning hours for us on our Saturday morning. 37 degrees is where we are right now. We're still pulling in those winds out of the north at about five miles per hour, and that's what's going to be cooling us down over the next 24 to 48 hours. Temperatures flirting with 50 degrees for us today, 49 degrees, well above the average of 36 with 37 degrees starting us out this morning. Even though it's been dreary, frankly, very foggy out there, we've only picked up about six, seven, one hundredths of an inch in the rain gauges for today. Let's go for a tour of temperatures one last time across West Central Ohio. 36 degrees in Columbus Grove at this hour, 36 in Van Wert, 37 out in America's friendliest city in Delphus, 37 in the Flag City, Finley, 36 in Ottawa, Columbus Grove as well, 40 in Lakeview, 39 down at the lake there. You can see in Bell Fountain, 38 in Salina, and also 
38 degrees in good old St. Mary's. All right, my friends, as we move forward overnight tonight, temperatures falling and flirting with the freezing mark there. Rain showers down to the south and east up to the north and west. You're going to start to see a little bit of a changeover around 3, 4 a.m. in the morning time, and then more snowfall is expected in the early hours around sunrise. Temperatures nearing and below the freezing mark throughout the day. More scattered snow showers are going to be expected. In its wake, temperatures cooling off into the upper 20s that evening. Perhaps a little bit of a beautiful sunset here in West Central Ohio. But as we wake up for early Sunday morning, more widespread snow showers are going to be expected. Temperatures in the mid to upper 20s, flirting with 30s through the day. But this is going to be the snowfall that is really going to accumulate for us here in West Central Ohio. How much snowfall? Let's show you some of the model predictions here over the weekend. The GFS is pulling in just about 4.1 inches. The NAM model, that's the North American model, 3.5 with the RP p.m. pulling in about 3.1. So a few reminders out there. Keep those headlights on as you're traveling. Visibility will be cut down low. Lower your driving speeds as well. And of course, it goes without saying, limit that snow cell phone activity while you're driving. For tonight, we're going to keep that foggy conditions out here in West Central Ohio. 34 degrees, northwest winds about 5 miles per hour. Your Saturday day planner is showing that more snow showers are going to be expected through the heart of the day with temperatures in the mid to upper 30s and then falling thereafter. Here's your full storm 37 day forecast. All right, for Sunday, scattered snow showers, mostly sunny and dry for your Christmas day, 25 degrees, temperatures thereafter through the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, lower 20s with single digits possibly in the overnight hours. All right, my friends, it's certainly been such a pleasure. This is my last newscast with WLIO, and from my heart to yours, it's been a pleasure serving you. Everyone have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.